Today's video is going to be my August TBR. So I have not been very good about keeping up with my TBR lately and that's just part of who I am and I think that I read a lot on the whim and I change my mind but I do like to kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking about reading so at least you kind of get an idea of what to expect. So these are the books that I hope to read and I may end up switching it up but we'll see. First up I wanted to tackle a project that I see a lot of manga readers do. It's something that I think is important to just me personally. I don't like to have a lot of garbage on my shelves. I want to read something. If I like it, I keep it. If I don't, I trade it in for something I enjoy more or something new I want to check out. So I want to reread a lot of my manga that I haven't read in a long time. And the first thing I want to check out again is Chobits. I have every volume except the eighth one, which is the final volume. It's on its way in the mail. I just found a copy of it and I have the Tokyo Pop editions. Some of them are the older ones, some are the newer ones, but this series is out of print as far as this edition goes. I think they're about to come out with an anniversary edition that's one like omnibus, one or two omnibus kind of thing. Yes, I had the last one on the way and I'm really, really excited to read it again. I read these way back in the day, like when I was in high school. And so I know a lot has changed and it may have been outdated. I may not even like it anymore. Who knows but I really really love the art and Clamp has always really impressed me with everything that they've done so I'm really really excited to check these out I like the overall idea of it um, it's basically a story about a android named Chi who gets found in the trash by this young boy and in this world Persicoms which are people look like robots and they just do computer stuff for you and it's just shenanigans and a love story and also like a weird mystery like I really don't remember a lot about the story so I think now that I'm older and I retain a lot more of what I read I want to check this out again and see if it's something I'm actually interested in or if it's just something I thought was really cute and I thought I liked but it's rated OT for older teens so it's definitely not for children I paid less than full price for I would say 90% of these. I think I bought three of them new. I think I bought the first one brand new, the third one, and the fifth one way back in the day. And now I am um, finishing that collection, trying to complete it just to make sure I like it. And um, if I don't, I'll resell it. I'll find someone who wants the whole collection and I'll trade it with them or something. But I did want to go through that. I'll probably do a reading vlog on it because I think that would be really interesting and some people might want to see that. So let me know if you do want to see that in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. The next thing I hope to read this month is one that I've already started. It is Every Heart of Doorway by Seanan McGuire. This is one that I had in my last month's TBR and I did technically start it. I'm just doing it in a separate project that I'm working on with something and I'm reading it really slowly. So it's, it's very good. I am enjoying it so far, but I don't know a ton about this. I just know that it's like a story about wayward children who fell through doors like Narnia and Alice in Wonderland and things like that. They just fall into that world and then they come back to the real world and they have to deal with that. And they go to like a boarding school and there's this woman there who is going to help them deal with it or something like that. And I think there's also like a murder mystery in here. But it's such a short novella that I don't know how you're going to pack that much into it. But we'll see. You know, it's a whole series of books. There's a bunch of these little novellas. So if I like it, I've got a lot of content to consume. And if I don't, then I've only bought one of them and it's not a big deal. But we'll see how it goes. I'm liking it so far. Um, they're kind of expensive, honestly, in my opinion. Um, they only come in hardcover and it's like $18 for this thin book. And that's how much I'd pay for like a full length YA novel or like some adult novels. Anyways, maybe I'll like it enough for it not to matter. It's won a lot of awards and everyone I know on the internet is obsessed with this book. So maybe I'll like it too. And the last thing I hope to get to this month, at least assuming I hope I get to it, is um, one I'm also currently reading, which is the first omnibus of Bleach. My husband is obsessed with this series. It is his favorite anime and I'm guessing manga. I don't know if he read the whole, yeah, he read the whole manga. Of course he did. He had it on his phone. He was always reading the new chapters. So it's his favorite series ever, franchise or whatever, other than like Mortal Kombat, but that's like not a manga. I want to read it. Like, I don't really love the anime. I'm not going to lie. I'm watching it with him, but we're on the Bount arc and it's so bad. Like, 
anyways, I'm not going to go into that. But it's not really in here. It's not even a part of the story. So I like the art better in the manga than I do the anime. I think it shows more stylization of the artist. And Taik Kubo is very talented. There, I think there's also, like, they're about to finish animating the new, like, the end of the show. So that's pretty cool for new fans. And I wanted to check it out and see if I like the manga better. Um, they do have these three-in-one editions by Viz, and they're very good quality. They're not as sturdy as the Inuyasha Viz Big Editions, but I still really like how floppy they are and how, you know, easy it is to just hold this and read it. It's not like a big deal where I have to, like, you know, prepare for it like those. Um, they're both really well made. They're not super, super cheap. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I can't wait to read this one. But anyways, guys, that's it for my fairly short TBR for the month of August. I hope that you will come and watch the wrap up and see what I think of those. And also my reading blog that will come out with the Chobit series. I'll let you guys know what I think of that. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you've been reading lately in the comments below. I want to know what manga or books you've been reading. Um, I've been in more of a manga kick lately, if you can't tell with my TBR and my wrap up. But I go back and forth between wanting to read more books and more manga. Some comics, like comics get thrown in there randomly. Um, I don't have any new ones right now, so I'm caught up on what I have. I do need to go buy some more, but I just haven't in a while. And uh, if you like what I have on my channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.